Full moon, moon rising. Thank you. Wonder what the eclipse is going to do then. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm not on war duty that day. <laughs> the wolves, the wolves are howling. Going to howl at the moon. You're going to be in the country then. I don't know. It's a place to see it. You could sell it. Pick up a little extra. I'm kind of. I'm defending my my championship in a golf tournament that weekend. I got to. I got a Here bunch of guys I play now. against who, who you know, are really bragging. I found him out in Where was he? Was he? He was out there in the corner. In the corner. Part of hearing. What'd you say? He was out at that corner and he started hearing. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Good help at the start. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, we have two cases here, sir. 24 CR 225 and 226, the state of Texas versus Lawrence Caleb. Lawrence, that's, yes, you. Yes. that's you? Yes. Oh, you were charged with uh, second degree felonies, two of them. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, there's, the nothing, there's nothing funny about these charges. You pulled a gun out on two people and pulled the trigger three times at them, which is like Russian roulette, playing what we call Russian roulette, where people think they're about to get killed. And police, you're going to interrupt me? And you'd have to stay in jail until we disposed of these cases. Do you understand? Okay, can I ask any questions from you? Like I yeah, yeah, uh, but... I couldn't ask you anything about anything that... I can, I can tell you, sir... Correct, as habitual felon? That's correct, Your Honor. No less than 25 up years in prison up to life imprisonment. And uh, don't interrupt. And that's why he's he's paid by the, but the he county. But he never talked to me. He just come to me and not for me. The other possible issues, but that's not for me. That's for y'all to talk about. I'm going to reset it for one week so yeah. she can understand yeah. fully. Thank you, okay. ma'am. Yes, Yes, ma'am. Do what you can, pay what you can, but you don't set the rules. The court yeah. does so that, you know, you can, we'll give you a bar to set, get over and, and gives you something to shoot for, you know? Evening. We have two cases here. And, um, is he pleading to two or one? Two. Yeah. I have 23 CR 1748, third degree felony, assault, family violence, impeding circulation, I guess by choking. That's not good. What? I'm sorry. 24 CR 231, the same offense? Yes, sir. And it did happen on two different occasions, Judge, same day. If I remember. A couple months apart. See, did I see any? Oh, it's a problem. And that's why this is terrible. He's hoping that as a condition of probation, we'll be able to uh, benefit from the maybe batteries program. Something to help him. He's, he's how old are you? 25 and he's not been in trouble before and all of a sudden in a very short period of time he's do you not want me to no, no. talk on his behalf or I'm asking I don't know what you're asking is that is that what you want to no, I, I just was pointing out that, that I was going to that I was going to mute you from representing him no that, not in that statement way. what were you trying to say make it like clear this, to me I was trying to explain that that's why we're hoping that the probation would benefit him because he's neat. He's 25. He's not been in trouble for, and for some reason, over a short period of time, he managed to not be able to control his emotions. And the programs that come along with probation could help him. And that's what we're hoping. That's what we're hoping for. Okay. 
what I'm saying is when you put your hands around somebody's neck and squeezes, there's only one intent, and that's to kill them. You don't just choke somebody with the and with their take your hands around and squeeze their throat and think that's for their benefit or that's going to make them more healthy. There's only one reason for that, and that's to kill somebody. Because that's how you kill people. You have to breathe. Here, what's bizarre is you do this on September 21st. You're indicted on October 18th. Did you know about that indictment at all? And then, then after you had been indicted on October 18th of 2023, then on January 30th, it's alleged that you did it again. When were you um, arrested? When was it found he's arrested on October? Um, it looks like he was arrested initially on September 22nd of 2023. And then he was. Uh, so you, you had notice that this was going to be treated seriously in September. Go ahead. The second case, he was arrested January the 31st of 2024. Okay. I know I'm not the only one who thinks this is incredibly tragic for the victim. And I guess we're lucky she's still alive, right? And it was a female, a lady, a lady. That's who you want to squeeze the neck of, ladies. You're a man, and that's, you think, assaulting women is... Your method of appropriate behavior? No, it's not. So I think they were saying it's holding the mouth. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes it better. I mean, it's preventing them from breathing, which is necessary for life, right? No matter where, there's two ways to do, to commit this offense. You can choke them, and that's why it's called choking or impeding breath, but you can also plug up their, prevent their mouth and their nose from inhaling. And it works the same way. They lose their breath. They can't breathe, which is necessary. You don't have your breath so long before you, know, you, you, you die. There's nothing you can't you can't reason this out as something good. It's not. You're trying to say you did that for her benefit to make her a healthy person and live longer and happy? No. No. Let's see where this goes. I've never done such a thing in my life. I don't, I don't, I can't imagine you just take any random group of people and Unless they're sadistic, nobody does that to another human being. Okay, so what's the plan? Uh, placing it on deferred or unadjudicated probation? Everybody? As to both, yes, sir. Okay. That's what the state 
You, you've looked at it. I've, I've looked about at it. it. You think that's that's uh, I, you must think this is what's in the best interest of everybody concerned. I approved it okay. based solely upon the this defendant's lack of criminal history outside of these elements. Okay. I'm hoping that the court will get his attention today. Is he cleaning the bunk rooms? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to take these two together, okay? Uh, in 23CR231 and 23CR1748, each of these indictments similarly allege that on or about January 30th, 2024, in... Um, uh, in 23 CR 1748, let me start. On or about September 21st, 2023. And in 24 CR 231, on or about January 30th, 24, which would be October, November, December, uh, January, four months later. Each of these uh, indictments similarly allege that you committed the third degree felony of intentionally, knowingly, or recklessly impeding the normal breathing or circulation of the blood of the victim by applying pressure to the throat or neck or by blocking her nose or mouth with your hands. And that's against the dignity of uh, peace and dignity of the state signed by the foreman of the grand jury for each case. Simply, Do you understand what you are charged with here? Yes. Now, these are third degree felonies, and those state that if convicted, you face a term of not more than 10 years or less than two years in prison, and a fine up to $10,000 can be assessed in each case. Do you understand? Yes. Agreements have been reached where you would be placed on deferred or unadjudicated probation, which can be up to 10 years in length. Do you understand? Yes. There's a recommendation, but it's not binding on me. I get to decide how much the length of probation is. You would be fined five hundred dollars, or and this would run concurrently with each case. And is that the same agreement on each case? Yes, it is. Okay. If I follow these, right? Yes, if I follow these agreements, you have no right of appeal of your cases. Do you understand? Yes. How do you plead in each of these cases? Guilty or not guilty? Yes. Are you pleading guilty in each case voluntarily and because you are guilty? Yes, Here. Okay, I show you what's marked. Please help me. What's marked as States Exhibit 1 for each case. Did you sign those documents? Yes, sir. Did you understand their contents? Discuss them with your attorney in each case, and is everything true and correct? Yes. States Exhibit 1 is tendered into evidence objection. without objection admitted. In each case, among other things, this states that you are mentally competent to enter your guilty pleas, which are freely and voluntarily made. You know what you've been charged with. The indictments have been read to you. You've read them. You are guilty of the crimes charged and any lesser included offenses. You are giving up your rights to a jury trial and the right to the appearance, confrontation, cross-examination of witnesses. You are totally satisfied with the representation provided by your lawyer. All of this is true. It states, so help you God, is that so? Yes. States Exhibit 1 is made a part of the record in each of these cases. Pre-sentence reports are way. Yes, sir. Anything else to add by anybody? I'm going to follow these agreements and find, if nothing further, uh, Mr. Eaglin, that you are pleading guilty in each of these cases voluntarily, knowingly, intelligently. There's sufficient evidence supporting your guilty pleas. From States Exhibit 1 admitted, to find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But I am going to defer any finding of guilt and place you on deferred 
for unadjudicated uh, probation for 10 years. I can always shorten that to one third, three and a third years. If uh, I am impressed that uh, you are doing uh, well and have understood and appreciated these matters and have atoned and changed your life for the better. There will be terms and conditions uh, that will include a fine of $500 in each case. You must also complete the batterers intervention protection uh, program, which is presented by Family Services. That is a wonderful organization here that helps uh, folks um, fix some issues and try to uh, reach the ideals of a successful family, which um, the victim here is, uh, was that a, a girlfriend, acquaintance, uh, wife, uh, girlfriend. your both, girlfriend? Both of them were girlfriends, Judge. Girlfriend. Okay. Um, I have one, two different people, right? Yes, sir. That's what mm -hmm. I was trying to clarify. For you. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so these are, th this is a month apart. These are two different it's four ladies, months. and they're your girlfriends? Yes, sir. Do they know about the other girlfriend? Or how many girlfriends do you have? I mean, it's not funny. It was just to separation. Oh, uh, here's another thing. Uh, this is, once again, this is a terrible, terrible thing to do. And that's why the law considers it uh, serious because it is life-threatening. Yes. As a condition of probation, you're going to serve 180 days in the county jail. And um, are you able to leave to, uh, go now or do you want me to order you to report on or before six o'clock p.m friday friday all right and you're under he does work each uh he works for the y i believe five days a week and we talked about that in the event that the court ordered up front time uh and even though it might be as much as 180 days which is uh, two years it's 90 week 90 uh you get two weeks, days credit that uh he would ask that he'd be able to do weekends so he could keep his job at the Y. Is that what you want to do? Yes, okay. Because I don't have a problem with that. I think it, it certainly lasts longer. It ends up being uh, 90 weekends, which is over a year. But um, well over a year. But if that's what it takes to keep your job and you're willing to do uh, that over that span of time, it has to be done then that way. Uh, that is a responsible method of doing it. But obviously, there's a reason why this is being assessed because it's life threatening and you can't. You, these are, and these were girlfriends. You Would you call them girlfriends? My God, how would you treat somebody you don't love? If uh, a girlfriend, I'm sure there's an affection there. That's, I mean, I've lived long enough. Uh, I'm, that's what you have with another fellow human being, and you're not supposed to threaten their life. Like, we, I'm, I'm talking to you about something. You know that. You know the answers to this. But also, you're not acting like a gentleman. You're acting like a bully, and and they're not humans. Fellow humans are not to be life threatened. You don't treat them and then say, Well, I have affection for you. That's why I'm going to choke you here or threaten, threaten your lives. That's not the way you handle a relationship that's the right way. Or else, let me just say, 
you're going to have a lot of short-term relationships because people don't think much of that as a method of showing affection. Yeah. Do better. That is all. Thank you. Alexis Johnson. Yes, um, your uh, you know, nobody says you know, you know, and you've got to remember you don't report on it before six o'clock PM on uh, each Friday. That's a condition of probation, and your probation would be short lived. Yes. Sir.